You gotta give a big shout out to Defiantist for putting that hashtag SFAMREACT and putting the link to the video requesting us today to react to Fat Electrician Reviews Tat P Warheads on Forehead Specialist As John already sounds crazy man, I'm ready to get into it If this is your first time to the page, comment, like, subscribe Please get involved by hitting that thumbs up so we can share the video a little bit and get a little bit of notification out there man Holla at your boy Go ahead and help get us notified, man. Also, consider joining my Discord. Join the Discord, man. That way you can go there and actually request your reactions, man. Thank y'all for coming through. Let's go ahead and get it to it one time. Let's go. Today, we're talking about TAC-P. It stands for Tactical Air Control Party, and I'm just going to level with okay. you. This job exists for one reason and one reason only, and that's to put warheads on foreheads. Wow. I'm trying to tell you if the Tactical Air Control Party shows up, there's going to be anatomical confetti everywhere. TACP is basically the anatomical Air Force's version confetti. of a grunt, but they got that Air Force budget money, so they're like fancy designer grunts. Okay. Gucci grunts, if you will. Gucci so what grunts. does all that fancy Air Force <laughs> money buy you? Every TACP has to go through basic training, then they go to the Special Warfare Preparatory Course, then they get to go to the actual TACP schoolhouse. Assuming so they make it through actually... that, they go to the Army Airborne School where they learn how to jump out of a perfectly good Air plane, Force or and then the they Army? will go to SEER training. And that is just the bare minimum to become a TACP. They are then all but required to attend the JTAC Qualification Course, which stands for Joint Terminal Attack Controller, which allows them to call in close air support. A lot of people get Sounds that confused like lot, and think man. that JTAC is an actual job in the military. It is not. It's just an extra qualification or certification that you can earn. It's like being airborne. After they finish all their high-speed training, some of them go on to special forces, but the majority are going to get embedded with the Army and the Marine Corps grunts. From there, it's their job to go out on mission with the grunts and carry a Marines up in backpack there. full of all kinds of communication equipment. Everything from SATCOMs to radios, lasers for painting targets, Laser range finders. I like it, man. Basically, I he's like there it. to translate all the ooga booga Basically, noises from Air the grunts Force, into like math science forces. so the Air Force understands where to drop their bombs. So he's a grunt, but he's a nerd too. He's kind of like Donatello. Except yeah. when Donatello over here calls for fire, he's not just asking for your regular artillery or yeetus deletus. Probably if Uncle Sam has game. it, this man can call for it. Whether we're talking about the A-10 Warthog, the AC-130, pretty much any type of bomb, and even naval bombardment. I'm trying to tell you, TAC P's are not on the battlefield to unalive bad guys. They are there to erase terrain features that may or may not have bad guys on them. Okay. Here's what I need you I to like understand. This, this is the only man that's going to enable the Air Force to be able to save the grunts' lives if shit hits the fan. This man cares about his grunts the same way the grunts care about Doc. If you mess with this man's grunts, yeah, he's going to hit you, you so hard, it. your eyes are going to be blue. One's going to blow that way, and the other one's going to blow that way. Because this man will hit you with a piece of ordnance that's got a price tag similar to that of the GDP of a small to medium with sized country. Head on your I can head. feel my taxes going up just thinking about it. And God forbid you shoot at Doc, because then you're really going to get the grunts and the TACP oh, working yeah. together. The grunts are going to keep you where you're at with suppressing fire, while the TACP calls up the Air Force and tells you got to keep Doc alive. If you don't keep Doc alive, who's going to help keep y'all alive? Y'all feel me? So yeah, I can totally understand where he's coming from with that, man. They're more like the white side SF. You're not 100% accurate on the grunt stuff. Okay. They're tech air force, but they get spread like, like barracks bunnies. Okay. Okay. I got you. This looks like something to get trained in so you can get S SGC assignment. Got you. All right, let's go. Tells him to drop something so bright it's going to sunburn your soul. And then a few minutes later, the last thing you're ever going to hear is a bunch of 20-year-old athletic alcoholics with machine guns singing, Here comes the sun. <laughs> Fucking oh no. In conclusion, the Air Force doesn't have many grunts, but the ones they do have are absolute game changers. And when it comes to the TACPs, they not only pose a threat to the enemy, but to the terrain they reside on as well. Thank you for watching. Best way to support the channel is to go I get like some t-shirts or some way. merch at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out. I. There you go, man. TACP, hardcore training, the freaking Air Force, special forces, basically, right? So, yeah, they got a pretty tough job, man. Pretty cool. I still, uh, I don't know. There's still other ones that I like better than, than what I just seen with the TACP. There's still other ones I like better than that, though, man. But anyway, we're going to do another electric, another fat electrician, man. We're going to check out another one of these. Ones. I got to give a big shout out to Defiant Tense requesting us to react to today. The fat electrician. He's getting ready to tell us how death rays and carrots helped in World War II. Death rays and carrots. So I'm pretty sure he's calling something else a death ray and something else a carrot. He has a new name for it. But we're going to go ahead and see what he's talking about, man. First time to the page, comment, like, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you stay updated every time I upload a video. Let's go ahead and get into this video, man. Please hit that thumbs up so you can like the video so we can get noticed a little bit more, man. I appreciate y'all. 
as fam stand up salute stay focused and motivated get motivated up in the jet one time let go Today we're talking about death rays, carrots, and how Great Britain's kind of sort of responsible for the creation of Bugs Bunny. Okay, look, if you don't know, pretty much every country involved in World War II is committed to spending a lot of time, money, and effort to coming up with new and creative ways to unalive one another. And early on, Team Bad Guy would invest a lot of time and effort another. to coming up with a death ray, because that's not the most cliche bad guy thing to do ever. You know what? Actually, I take that back. That's probably where the cliche comes from. Anyways, Great Britain, aka the USB, would find out about this pretty early on and proceed to do what the USB does best. They stole it. I mean, tactically That's acquired. Tactically you know what? Acquired. Let's just be there honest. you go. Historically speaking, the USB treats go. anything of historical or cultural significance the same way a tweaker treats a catalytic converter. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it happened. They I mean, take let's it. face it. If grandma passes away and leaves you a nice vase, there is a greater than 0% chance that Britain's going to try to come take it. Anyway, so really? Britain ends up developing a death ray, and theirs doesn't work, and neither do the bad guys. But a what Britain ray, figures bro, out is on. that if you turn about the death the ray down, you can actually use it to track airplanes while they're in flight. This would lead to the invention of the first radar. They then proceeded to equip radar. radar up and down their entire coastline that way anytime the enemy bombers approached they had enough time to scramble their own fighting planes to go and stop the bombing run and this actually worked really well right up until it didn't eventually the enemy figured out that if they did the bombings at night they were far more effective this okay. is because the british airplanes didn't actually have a radar inside of them so once they were in the air they were unable to locate the bombers at night because of the success of these bombing raids two things happened one london imposed a blackout meaning at night no one was supposed to have lights on to make it harder for the bombers to actually see okay, where the do. city okay. was and two they that. would develop the AI radar, which stands for Aerial Interception. And this would be the first radar that was actually inside of a fighter plane. Once the Royal Air Force pilots had onboard radar, they began fucking up the enemy bombing runs so bad so they... that people began asking questions. I mean, for example, they had guys like John... So like the IR radar is something that they use so that they can't be seen and stuff like that, I guess. They can't be tracked, I guess. On Cat Eyes Cunningham, who is a fighter ace credited with... This guy kind of looks like freaking Rob Deerdeck a little bit. He To me, he looks like Rob Deerdeck, doesn't he? Look at him, bro. All right, let's go, man. 20 enemy bombers, 19 of which were at night. Do you understand how insane that is? You only have to down five enemy aircrafts to become an ace. This guy did more than three times that, and it was in the fucking dark. 15, and when 16? people started asking questions about how that was humanly possible, you want to know what the official British government what? answer was? He, he eats a lot of carrots, so wow, he can see good. Wow, really? Could you Come imagine on, getting man. your entire Air Force's ass beat by, like, one dude, and the official response is he ate, ate his fruits and vegetables? <laughs> like, the British Army's got the Lee Enfield rifle, but the Royal Air Force has the Lee N carrot. And the craziest part about Come this whole on, thing is everyone actually believed it you see world war ii everybody was short on a lot of different resources britain That's in particular crazy, was man. short on food but one thing they had an abundance of was carrots, carrots. so they why? Why everybody that their carrots? war heroes were eating a bunch of carrots Eat and carrots it helped and them see better at night Get which coincidentally here, was really beneficial because london and other cities along the coast were having blackouts every night so they couldn't see at night realizing how incredibly convenient this lie was britain Makes launched an enormous propaganda campaign they carrot began doctor. making up all kinds of crazy carrot That's recipes crazy, and putting man. them in the newspapers they even began making cartoons trying to inspire children to eat more carrots a bandwagon that even america hopped on creating maybe the most iconic cartoon character of all time bugs bunny yeah okay. you remember being at the grocery store trying to convince your mom to buy those big carrots so you could go eh what's up doc <laughs> yeah i remember bunny that joke man congratulations that's probably the first time you thought y'all know good and well y'all used to do that too man oh, what is he about to say man what is he getting ready to say TV. Congratulations, that's probably the first time you fell for propaganda and it won't be the last. But wow. I didn't fall for propaganda because carrots actually are good for your eyes. But yes, carrots but. have vitamin A and beta carotene in it, which are good to maintain your current eye health. Eating a bunch it, of carrots will not give you supervision. Kind of like how going on a diet might make you lighter, but going on a really intense diet isn't going to make you fucking float. See how that works? Anyways, the point I'm trying I to get see, across I is see. that this propaganda campaign was extremely successful. Not only did it work on the British and American Potato civilian Pete. population, but it worked on the enemy as well. Allegedly, there was accounts that the bad guy's leadership she started ate so much carrots, she turned to eat orange. carrots to the point that they turned orange. Wow. And now, to be intellectually honest, I do have to tell you that there are a lot of historians that do not believe that because there wasn't any actual documentation. However, I think to some extent they fell for the propaganda considering that it is still That's a crazy, worldwide man. misconception that carrots give you night vision and i'm not gonna lie i actually thought that eating a lot of carrots made you see better and but i didn't eat a bunch more carrots just so i could see better but i really did think i really did think that eating carrots helped improve your eyesight i'm not even gonna lie man let's go and it's also worth considering, even if the bad guys didn't fall for the propaganda, it was still a humongous morale boost to the Royal Air Force. I mean, think about how happy you would be if you were a pilot with fancy new top secret radar technology and you were knocking down enemy course, planes. Of course, I'd be happy right. all the time when I get And you the enemy thought it was because you were using carrots as a performance enhancing drug. That shit would be fucking hilarious. You know for a fact those pilots were feeding into it too. They were, Painting you carrots know they were, and shit yeah. on the side of, of their course planes they were. every enemy plane of course. down. Telling each other stories in the chow hall like, guys, guys, no shit. There I was. I pulled up behind this bomber and he hadn't seen me yet. And I wanted to find out if the 
these guys were actually orange. So I pulled up next to him and I wanted to look inside of that phallic indentation. I mean, penis perforation. I mean, <laughs> cockpit. Sorry. So I pulled up next to him, took a look in this cockpit, and this motherfucker is bright orange. We made direct eye contact and his jaw falls into his lap and I take a big bite out of a carrot right before I drop back behind him and shoot him down. So yeah, there you have it. The epic wow. saga of how Great Britain failed at making a death ray only to accidentally create radar, subsequently revolutionizing warfare for the rest of forever. And then in order to cover it up, they convinced the entire planet that carrots somehow gave you night vision. That's where it's channel to go That's to spotelectrician.com and buy yourself some merch. Quack bang out. Yeah, I like that one, but it really got me because once again, I'm learning something from the fat electrician. Eating carrots doesn't make your freaking vision better. It just helps you maintain your vision. I actually thought it's neither here nor there, y'all. It's your boy Thurs Lynch. Love y'all to death. I'm about to get up out of here. SMM set up. Salute, stay focused and motivated. Get motivated up in this jank one time. Deuces. Love y'all to death. And we out.